My name is Laura Hunter and I'm the CEO of Tori Bell Cosmetics. And if you were new here, and I know we have a lot of new people, this is my Thursday Live every Thursday at 4 p.m. I do a live for everybody and just tell you guys some fun pro tips, go over what we've got going on, talk about specials and great ways to use our cosmetics. And so here we are. I'm so excited to welcome so many new people. I know the first question everybody has had, and we keep saying, just wait, just wait till Thursday, um, is how many new people do we have in Tori Bell Cosmetics? And here's the answer. We launched Canada, and that was, was that one week ago or two weeks ago? Two weeks. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we launched our Canadian market. We're so excited, and welcome to our Canadian affiliates. We now have over 2,000 Canadian affiliates. Yay, you guys, it's amazing. And additionally, during that time, we gained over 8,000 American affiliates. So that means we gained 10,082 new affiliates in the last two weeks, which is about 25% more people than we had before. So that is an amazing, amazing growth. I'm so excited to welcome everybody on board. Okay, you guys, so let me tell you, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do, we're just gonna talk a little bit, and we're gonna talk a little bit um, so you guys know where we came from, where we are now, and where we're going. So I thought that would be a little helpful for everybody who's new and people who have been around just so that you you guys kind of, you know, you're up to date on what's going on. And then we'll do some fun pro tips. Okay, so I know that most of you guys don't know me. And um, so, and for those of you who do, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to listen for a, a minute that you, stuff you've already heard. Anyway, so um, I'll, I'm gonna start at the beginning. I was born a poor child, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so no, really though, I do not come from a wealthy family. Um, I mean, we were fine, like middle class and stuff. And then like a lot of families, my parents got divorced and things changed. And, um, as I grew up, um, you know, I had challenges. And so I ended up moving out on my own when I was about 14 and I cleaned houses and, um, rented rooms from people and neighbors and things like that. And then by the time I was 16, I had my own apartment and was working full time and going to school. And I was very, very poor, <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, super poor. And um, I just did everything that I could to build a life for myself. And as I was doing that without, you know, a ton of education, I eventually in my thirties got all the way through a master's degree. But at first I didn't have that enough education really. And I had all these big dreams and I was always trying to start a business and, um, and I did, I started a photography business and it, and it went fine and I built it for 25 years and um, competed in pageants for 25 years and I just kept trying and I lost so many times and I failed so many times. And some, sometimes they were really tragic failures. Like I lost an apartment building that I had um, bought to foreclosure because I didn't understand the loan terms because I was like 25. Um, I bought my first house. I saved very little money. I bought my first house. It cost $40,000 when I was 19. With my goal was to buy a house before I was 20. And one of the reasons that was my goal was because when I was 16, I started going to real estate agents looking at houses and trying to learn it. And this this guy, he said to me, he was a real estate agent, he said, you're never going to own anything. And I was like, yeah, yeah, before I'm 20. And so then I, I made that goal and I attained that goal. And it was close. It was like a couple months off, but still I got there. And it's just been, and that was, that was a success. But then, and after that, I bought a little bit bigger house when I was able to sell that. And then I sold that little bit bigger house and I bought the apartments I lost. And so, you know, you take two steps forward and one step back and sometimes three steps back and you just have to start over. And that was my life for a long, long time. Um, I, I truly, truly understand what it is like because I, I did this for most of my adult life to wake up afraid every day every day, not knowing if you'll keep your job, not knowing if you're going to have clients, not knowing if you're going to have enough food, not knowing if you can pay the rent at the you know, beginning of next month, not knowing if you have enough money for gas, not knowing if you have enough money for groceries. I remember being at the grocery store, like, do you want to donate a dollar? And I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, I am the poor. Come on. <laughs> you know? I was like, I'm like, I need that dollar. It's, it's like four things of mac and cheese, dude, you know, that kind of thing. And so, um, I think that most people identify with that because we're most people don't come from a place where things are super easy and we're all working really hard together. And so um, when I 
when I got to where I was um, right before I invented my magnetic eyeliner, it was actually probably one of the lowest points of my life. Um, I had been the victim of identity theft and it ruined my business that I spent 25 years building and people thought I was a horrible person. Um, it wasn't like a normal identity theft. It wasn't like the kind of thing where somebody steals your credit card. They stole my actual like identity, my personality. And these people pretended to be me and they were the, they made me the unwitting spokesperson for a very far right wing news agency. Not that there's anything wrong with right wing people, but this isn't that. These aren't right wing people. These are like the furthest that you could go away from that in an ugly way. Um, like, you know, all like they said that, you know, everyone who's Muslim should die. And um, there were somebody actually got shot because of an article that was attributed to me. Um, it was very serious and it, it took over a year to fight and to make them stop. And um, it was very, very expensive. And so I basically spent everything I had fighting it. I lost my business because people didn't believe me. Um, and during that same time, I had bought a building, another building. And um, again, because I just wasn't as experienced as it really should have been, but I kept trying. I was defrauded um, and the building was not habitable and it was condemned. And so I'd lost the building I worked on for three years and my business. And I had, and I spent everything I had fighting. And then I spent everything I had after I fought, I, I got back from fighting because I, I, I got a settlement, but it wasn't very big. It paid my, my bills, my legal bills and a little bit of extra. And I spent all that extra fighting the condemnation and I lost. So I had nothing. I literally zero, nothing, no job, no savings, no money in my account, nothing. And um, so that was pretty much, you know, at the, I was in my 40s and I felt like an abject failure, just just a total failure. I spent 30 years and nothing, nothing left to show for it. You know, it was awful. And um, so and that was literally right when I invented the product. And um, just out of just a fluke. I decided to go and buy some magnetic lashes that I had seen on TV. So I went to Sally's and had I known then what I know now, I would not have bought them there. I would have bought them from the woman who invented them. Um, but I didn't know that then. And so I went to Sally's to buy these lashes and I couldn't make them work. And I was so frustrated and mad, way overreacted because I didn't have any money and I bought something silly for myself and I kind of convinced myself it was for my business, um, which wasn't doing anything anyway. And um, so I was just really, I don't know if, you, if you've ever like been really upset and then something hurts you or bothers you. It's just like way worse. And it pinched me, like they pinched my eye. And that was like it, I was like, it hurt. I was like, Dang it! I threw them down in the seat next to me in my car. I actually put them on in my car, by the way. I was, I was so excited because, you know, you also get overexcited about some little thing when you're really down. You kind of like, like, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to feel better for five seconds. And then it was like, and then when it didn't work, you go like way the other direction. Right. And so I was all mad. And that was, I was just like, God, my eyeliner was just magnetic. You know, like this top thing would just stick on it. And that was it. That was the moment I was like, oh, that might actually be work, you know, like, huh. And I started Googling, went and got stuff to make eyeliner and given, you know, a few weeks and trials and a lot of notes. And uh, I figured out how to make it stick to my hand just a little bit. And I just figured if I can make it stick to my hand using stuff from the GNC and the Hobby Lobby, then um, once I like learned something about real makeup, because I didn't know anything like about making makeup, just using it as you know, I was an Uber user, but or manufactured makeup um, that but once I learned that like if I can make it stick with this it's gonna be great no problem and so then once I made it stick and then I was able to get you know proper chemicals and and machines and everything in my kitchen PS we did this all in my kitchen and um, and make it work so that's kind of where that's where I came from and then where you know the business came from um, oh and I cannot forget Bob, who's our co-founder, of course, and the best man in the entire universe. And um, he, just to make matters worse, um, at this same time, he had worked for IBM for like 15 years and he got laid off. They had huge layoffs. They, they laid off like 1,500 people. He was one of them. And he was unemployed for like the first time in his life ever. So not only did I have nothing, he had nothing. You know, at least he had savings and things like that, but they were tied up in his house and the real estate market wasn't fabulous right then because it was like eight, nine years ago um, when when he bought the house, we bought it really high and it hadn't really gotten back up to where it, you know, should have been. And so 
just the crash. And so he was kind of like, well, I don't really, he didn't really have anything left over either, you know? And um, we were like, well, okay, well, well, we'll figure out something, right? He'll get a job. I'll get a job. We'll do whatever we have to do. But it was just awful because it was like, it didn't even have him and he didn't even have me. So that was like, a, I mean, we had each other physically, but not to, not to depend on financially. And so that was really hard and not that much emotionally because of course we were both messed up and that was not fun, but we got through it. Yeah. And that's a big deal. Um, so anyway, back to fast forwarding. So after we get through this whole process, we had a Kickstarter. I don't recommend it by the way, cause people steal your ideas. Um, so we were really excited and it was like, we're working like a thousand hours a week and it really took off. And, um, it was really amazing and I just can't even tell you. And so as soon as, as soon as we started the one company, we started Tory Bell. So Lashliner was the original company, the original invention. And then as soon as we started Lashliner, we started planning Tory Bell. But of course, direct sales is a um, regulated industry. So you can't just like go start a direct sales company and think everything's going to be fine. Like it, it really, to do it correctly and to stand the test of time, you have to do it correctly and legally. And so we started that process and it took about a year. And um, so after our first year with Lashliner, we started Tory Bell. Almost exactly. As a matter of fact, it was like, oh, uh, it's like 23 days off. Like it was maybe 23 days before a year. It was almost exactly a year. And um, so we started Tory Bell. It, it just took off like a rocket, like just right off the bat. Nobody could believe it. It was shocking. Well, I could believe it because I thought it was going to. But like it was really, really surprising. And since then... Um, our trajectory has been very, very good. Um, of course, there's been, you know, with COVID, it's, it's a little bit like this, but it is still upward. Don't worry. Um, and it's just been amazing. And all these people, you know, all those times I went through, you know, falling down and getting back up and needing help and not having it and pushing through god awful stuff. Um, and now, I have all these people, all of you that stand beside me and behind me and hold my hand and help me through this. And I never in a million years would have thought when I was a, you know, barely being able to support myself, teenager, you know, going to a food bank that today I would be the CEO of a multi-million dollar company. It's a freaking miracle. Just telling you right now, it really is. Um, it is, it is such a miracle and it's, just a testament to what we can all do together and how important it is to just get back up no matter how hard it is. And honestly, you guys, when I was making that formulation the first time, I was so depressed and it was all, I mean, I knew it was such a good idea and I really had to follow through on it, but it was all I could do to force myself to get up and do it. And I'd be like, okay, you're going to do like three tries. That's it. Write them down and then you can go sit down. You know, I mean, I really had to like, talk myself into doing even that. And so I know, you know, I really, really do know how hard it is to get through some difficult times, but you can and you will, and it's going to be amazing. And we're going to do it together. So I'm so, so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here with us. Our culture is so important to us. And we really, really, really want this to be like a very family oriented and healthy, positive environment for you guys. Um, so in the future, so that's where we came from, where we are and now where we're going. So in the future, we have so much great stuff. I'm so excited. You have no idea. I constantly just run around here. Anybody who works here be like, yes, she's always happy and running around like a crazy person. Um, it's amazing. We have like five new inventions coming out. We're licensing stuff from other people. We have, we have our like product line all the way out till next Christmas worked out. And I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. So we have so, so far to go. We're going to, we just opened Canada, of course, so now we're an international company and we are going to open at least five more. Matt Cooley, I hope you're listening because he's our COO and he does global expansion. We're going to open at least five more countries in the next year, year and a half. And my goal is to have at least another one open in the next six months. So we'll see if we can make it. He thinks I'm a little crazy, but everybody thought I was a little crazy and we're here. So I think it'll be fine. Anyway, so that is where we're going. And I'm just really stoked. And I want you guys to know that not all of our inventions have to do with eyelashes. We have other stuff coming out that's for different things. Um, they're all, they're, you know, all in the kind of personal care realm here. But um, we're really, really excited about them. And we also have innovations coming. You know, they're not really inventions, but they make things easier and better. And they're still first in the world. And we always guarantee, you know, it's the best in the world we can find or the first in the world. And so, you know, we're just very excited about the future. So that is where we're going. 
So thank you guys all so much for being here and welcome. And I'm so glad you're here. Okay. Now we're going to do a pro tip. So this is something that we do every week. And sometimes there are things I know how to do really, really well. And they're like really sciencey and stuff. And sometimes it's like, hey, let's try something together. This is one of those times. I have never stacked my lashes, not more than putting like a little extra corner on the outside. And for those of you guys that don't know, stacking lashes is when you wear more than one pair of magnetic lashes because they stick to each other, right? So we're going to we're going to kind of uber stack here because I was thinking if I stack here, look, we're going to do here we go. We're going to do a bunch of these guys. Bam. We're going to stack a whole bunch. OK, so what's going to happen is we're going to try some of our newer lashes, some of our older lashes. But I was thinking, you know, if you're like at a vendor show or something and you wanted to be taking lashes on and off like all day long, your liners were not meant for you to take them on and off all day long. It's meant for you to do it for about five minutes where you get it in the right spot. And then as you let it sit, it cures more and then it holds your lash on. But after that, when you pull it off, you're probably gonna pull off some liners. So I thought I'll put on some Mystics, which is our very smallest lash and it has an invisible band. And I don't have them on my eyelashes. I have them on my skin. And then I'm gonna stack my stack on top of my Mystics. And I'm thinking if that works, what a great way when you do vendor shows or you show people your stuff because then you don't have to yank on your actual skin, right? So I got my old lady mirror. That's this guy because I'm blind. As everybody knows, I'm going to flip it over so it's taller. OK, so you guys all know that we did. We've just recently did pink mink. This one here. So pink mink, let me open it all the way so you can see it. So pink mink is a beautiful, beautiful lash and it has really subtle, beautiful, long pink um, yeah, I hope you can guess. Yeah, you can probably see them. It has really, it's, I know it's kind of bright because just, you know, filming, but it has really beautiful, subtle, long pink strands in it for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we're going to talk more about that later, by the way. So anyway, I thought because we have Midnight that has the blue in it, I thought I wonder what it'd look like to stack Pink Mink and Midnight. So now Pink Mink is longer. So I feel like Midnight should be under it. That, because otherwise I don't know that you would see much of the Midnight. So let me find, here we go. Here we have a pair of Midnight and I've already trimmed them. So they're a little short. You can tell by the anchors. These are the ones I actually wear. These are mine. Okay. Now then, so I'm going to trim these pink minks because I haven't trimmed them before and my eyes are not as wide as these. And you always want to trim. Okay. So I like to always trim from the outer corner because um, the inner corner is already long on these and I, it bugs me when something's like touching my skin on the inner corner. So I'm going to trim these little guys. Yes, you want the little scissors? Nah, I got it. I do use little scissors. I'm just being lazy because this is what's sitting on my desk. Come here. Uh, as you can see, it's not the easiest thing to do the big scissors. Also, because I am blind as a bat, and so I'm guessing. Okay, there we go. So trim that guy off. Now, when you first take the 10 magnets out, you want to, because there's you know quite a few magnets, so you want them to be flexible. So you want to bend. It just takes a couple seconds. So you only do it the first time. You just want to bend between each magnet just to make sure that they are awesome. There we go. All right. So there's the pink mink. Now these ones have already been worn. So no big deal about those. Oops, this guy. All right. And let me make sure this is clean because I can't see. Where's my glasses? All right. Glasses. Yes, I can't see anything. Okay. Hey, look at that. Those are not clean. Okay, good. Glad I put my glasses on. So when you clean these, by the way, you just do it with your fingernails. Don't get them wet. It's not good for them, like most lashes. They won't go back in the right shape. And also, it depends on the lash, but you risk them just falling apart because it damages the glue. OK, there. So that's a better. All right, so this is a double experiment right now. First of all, I'm stacking my lashes right now for the first time. And second of all, I'm trying this whole, like, let's do it on a, um, on a Mystic as like a sample board, right? So here we go. So we'll put this, it should just pop right on there. Oh, yeah, did you see, did you guys see that? That was fun. Look, can you see? It's like, oh, I want to go there. All right, so now we have it. Okay, so that worked well. It's this eye. So I have my blue, my beautiful midnight lash on. And then over it, we're going to put the pink mink. Here we go. This is a triple stack. Really? Oh, look, it's working nicely. I feel like if you're going to really do this, like 
Oh no, actually it looks really good. Oh no, I didn't I didn't get it very even though. Let me put it. Oh, this is easier though, because look how easily just take that guy off and put it over there. I didn't cut them evenly. And I feel like you'd want to kind of push them together. Definitely for showing people, that would work really well. How's that? I don't think I would wear a triple stack lash. Double yes, triple no. But it doesn't feel that weird even. But aren't they, you can actually see them now in, wait, which way do I have to turn this way? There, you can actually see the pink. Isn't that pretty? And it's so subtle. But then like when you turn your head and it also when you're facing forward, it kind of gives like, it almost looks like eyeshadow across here. It's the coolest thing ever. Okay, so I'm gonna take this guy off. Okay, so I officially approve Midnight and Pink Mink. I think it's very pretty together. I don't think, I don't know that you guys can see the color just because it's on video as well as I can see the color, but the, the little bit of blue poking out there, if I was like outside, it would be really cool. Okay, so that is cool. Now I was also thinking, let's take these up. Okay, now here's the trick. Can I get this off without pulling the mystic off? I do one at a time for sure. Get my little fingernail in there. Oh, one, got the pink mink off. So far so good. And then I feel like if I just have, if I'm just really careful, the corners, the rest will come off. I'm like, I don't know if I'm getting two lashes or one. Uh Oh, what am I got here? Nope. I think the other one's still on. <gasps> it worked. Yay. Oh my gosh. That's a great thing. Okay. So I feel like if you're careful and you're like doing a show or something, this is very workable. All right. Put this midnight guy back. So I was also thinking that if we did, um, selfie with the pink mink under it that you would see more pink because you get the black of the selfie right right over it so we'll do the other eye here we go these are just fun things to try right okay so I'm going to trim this selfie down there's already hair on my that is in occupational hazard, just so you know. There will be little bits of lash everywhere in your life now. All right, so I'm gonna cut a little notch off of this guy. There we go, oh, that was more, that wasn't, okay. That was more effective, take my word for it, it fell down, here we go. Voila. Okay, get rid of that. And then, so again, this is the first time coming out of the box, we're gonna give it some bendy. So it's nice and flexible and stays on really easily. Crease it between. All right. I'm gonna have to um, throw our pink pink again because this is the other eye and I haven't turned it yet. There we go. Ha ha. Getting better at that without my glasses on. I mean, I'm good at it with glasses on. I'm literally just guessing. Okay, again. And bending. And you can definitely tell, like, these ones, you know, from the, the six magnets to the 10 they definitely need some bending because the, they just are, the magnets are just close together. So you want to make sure that you get it nice and pliable. All right. All right, so we're going to go with the other eye. All right. Here we go. I'm going to push it down a little bit and make sure it goes in the right spot. Okay, we have our pink mink. And then I'm gonna put the selfie over the top of that and see if it kind of brings the pink out more. So I've seen people that are doing selfie under pink mink, but I'm like, I don't see how that helps. So I'm thinking over is the way to see. I think this is good. What do you guys think? I feel like, um, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I feel like in real life, it really gives that pink. Yeah, I've got head nodding over here in the studio, otherwise known as my office. Yes, Veronica's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I think it's actually very pretty. It is. It looks good. Yeah, I like it. Maybe we'll wear it for a while. Date night. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, date night. Oh, it was yesterday. No. Date, we have date night on Wednesdays. Not Veronica and I. Bob and I. Not okay. yet. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, we're close. Don't get me wrong, but maybe not that close. Okay. So anyway, that is that. I like that. I feel like that's a really good choice. Okay. Now again, we're gonna carefully separate these guys because we're all learning this together. I feel like if I do it from the middle, it puts less pressure and then I, I can just kind of grab it. Ha ha. Bam. I got them both off at once too. Look at that. Okay. Awesome. I feel like that was very successful. Put these guys back where they belong. Oops. Wrong case. You go there. You go here. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Okay. Alrighty. 
So there was one other thing I wanted to show you guys, which isn't stacking, but um, with both the nine to five, well, not both, with nine to fives and mystics and date nights, there's something really cool you can do. So here's some mystics. Mystics are the smallest slash we have for two reasons. One, they're the smallest lash. Two, you don't have to put them on your lashes. You can put them on your skin, right? But they have an invisible band. So it just, it really makes the whole perimeter of them smaller. So a cool thing you can do if you're going for just like a really natural look, and this is actually my kind of everyday go-to, by the way, is what I do is I take one mystic lash. And the important thing is, so if you don't know this, there are two main shapes of lashes. There are cat eyes and doe eyes. So cat eyes go out in the corner like this and doe eyes go straight up and down like this. So doe eyes are equally spaced. It's like small, big, small, whereas cat eyes are like small, wrong way, small, bigger, 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 right? So these are doe eyes. So anytime you have a doe eye, you can cut it in half. And once it's in half, you basically have two identical sides if you just flip it. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this guy, this little dude, and we're gonna cut it in half. So, you know, we're just gonna bend it in half and see where the half is. Apparently it's right there. There we go. Give it a little snip. Okay. So then take, get a little bending because we always want to bend first. And actually you could, like I'm doing right now, you can do this over another pair of Mystics too if you just want a little bit more oomph. Okay. So you have a little bend and you put on the outside corner So it just, it actually kind of turns it into a cat eye, which is cool, but a really natural little cat eye. Where's my other one go? Oh, there it is, it's stuck to my scissors. So then the other corner, of course, is the same shape because you know, it had two sides. Give it some bendy, because first time, bendy, bendy. So this is, people are like, are you gonna make half lashes? And we're like, we do make half lashes, cut your lash in half. Then you get twice as many, right? Makes more sense. Okay, and then we're gonna stick this little guy right here. Oh, he's like, I would really like to sit. Okay, you stop that. There we go. He was like, no, I wanna sit down now. Oh, I like it. How's that? Does that look nice? I love that. I'll look up so you can see. That's always a good angle for seeing. Also my nose, I hope there's nothing in it. Okay, so there we have it. So those are some tips and tricks and stacks and all sorts of fun stuff. And thank you for stacking with me for the first time ever. I have never done that before and I think it's really cool. I've only done like this. This is like the most stacking that I do is just a little extra corner. Oh, you know what I do also? Like these pink mink corners that I took off, I don't throw those away. I, um, I keep them and I just put them back in the tray. And then if I want a little extra like oomph on my corners, I use these to stack my corners because I like a cat eye. And so if I cut anything off, I'm like, nope, Put that back on. Don't want to waste it, right? Alrighty. So thank you for doing that with me, you guys. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm always like, I have to tidy up. It's weird because all this stuff's in my way. And then I'm like, uh-oh, what's happening? All right, I'm tidying, I'm tidying. I do think that the colored lashes are like the one of the more, more fun to stack with, but ones that have just really different shapes, like Bonfire that has like little um, flares and that kind of thing, those are also really good too. Like putting two really different shapes together so because then you get something totally different. So that's always fun. All right, ooh, flash sale. We're having a flash sale, yay! Siren Mascara is on sale right now until about 9 p.m. tonight. I say about because sometimes it takes us an extra minute or two to turn it off. So at 9 p.m. tonight, it will be its regular price again. But right now, Siren Mascara is $20. So get on that, it should be live right this second or within a minute or so. So that's fine. Okay, I love flash shows. Oh, and by the way, I feel like because this is like our first day of having, let me give her that. So our first day of having so many new people, I'm over explaining everything. So those of you who know all this, I'm sorry. We're just gonna do it again. Um, so what flash sales are is whenever we um, repackage something, which we're doing a lot of right now because of holiday and just upgrading our packaging and everything, um, we sell off in flash sales the things that are going to change packaging. Or if we're down to like the last, you know, thousand of something, um, we'll just knock it out of the park real fast, that kind of thing. So either very small amounts of inventory or for changing packaging, or if we've innovated it and we know that a new version is going to come out, that's when we do flash sales. So it's not just like, hey, you're getting stuff cheaper. It's you're getting stuff cheaper because something else, something better is coming. So just so you know, 
on your favorite new product, don't wait for flash sale because it's not coming. <laughs> All right, but we do have bundles and it might be in a bundle. All right, here we go. We have weekly giveaway winners. So what we do with our weekly giveaways is we have a few of them. For everybody that comments, you get an entry into our weekly giveaways. And we usually give away anywhere between like two and five items a week and we randomly pick them out of the comments. So comment a lot. And then also the same thing happens on our team page and the same thing happens on Hip and Happy with Kathy. And I'll talk to you about those later. But so we have a bunch of giveaways every week. So our giveaway winners are for my live last week, Chriselda Gonzalez. And she won the Wildflowers palette. Congratulations, Griselda and Sydney Nicole Amburn. And she got Makeup Fix, which was the Boardroom Lashes and Ballet Velvet Kisses. So congratulations, you guys. Way to comment. So remember, keep commenting because that happens every single week. So the comments you're making now could make you a winner next week. So make sure that you comment. Okay. So last week, you guys, I hope you were all there. We had the party in pink and it was amazing. I can't even tell you what a great time we had. We had um, most of our senior executive directors came and um, I think uh, 12 out of the 15 were here or no, 12 out of the 17 were here and um, they did a fashion show for us and we raised thus far about $7,600 for um, the National Breast Cancer Federation and we're still working on that by the way and um, it was amazing. We had such a fun party with game show, so many good things and so the pink mink that we were just looking at those were the lashes that we sold um, for the National Breast Cancer Federation, um, what, foundation, sorry, foundation um, event. And so for a, every one of those still that you purchase, a dollar goes to National Breast Cancer Foundation. So, and we have like three, 2,700 of them left or something. So the goal was 10,000 and we sold, I think 7,300. So you guys get those. Now is the time it's till, until October 31st. Our goal is to give them $10,000. So anyway, Eddie has put together a super, super awesome little montage for you guys. So let's watch it. <laughs> Wasn't that cool? We had so much fun. It was ridiculous. And we did so many fun things with our senior executive directors too. We went to the selfie museum, which is the coolest thing I've ever seen. By the way, I know it sounds like really like, okay, you took selfies, but it's actually really neat. If you have a selfie museum where you're definitely go, it was super fun. We had great dinners. We had a kind of a, not a slumber party, but we had like a pajama pizza party. We had just such a great time with them. It was so amazing. And the most important thing is we got to really know them better and they all got to know each other better. So it was a really, really awesome time. Um, we also had the fashion show that you just saw, right? And so the reason we had the fashion show was so people could vote on swag items that they would like us to sell. And we're gonna do a couple at a time. And um, I'm gonna tell you what won and what we'll be selling soon. Okay, so a couple of the things that won, we'd, we let our models keep their swag that they modeled. And so some of them we don't actually still have here. So I'm just gonna have to explain to you what it looks like. And I have some samples that are close enough. So the first thing was a sweatshirt. And, but this is a t-shirt, but it was a sweatshirt and it looks like this. And it's a hoodie and it zips down the front and it zips down between the TB and this logo is on the arm. I hope that that makes all good sense. So the toy bell's on the arm, the TV is down the front, separated by the zipper, and it is a hoodie. So we're gonna be selling hoodies that look about like this very soon. And so that was one of our awesome sale items. And to go with them, another most popular item was these sweatpants. They are basically normal sweatpants. They have, you know, like 
the bottom that's that's a would they call them a jogger a jogger a jogger sweatpant and so that but this will because it'll match the sweatshirt so where it says Tory Bell Cosmetics will be in rhinestones and this is in rhinestones but it'll match the other one with the red and black so that are those something very similar to this is the pants that one and we'll go with it that is exciting and I love that and I'm going to wear it and then the other thing that was crazy popular was the softest nighty ever and it will say Tory Bell on it. I wish you could feel it, you guys. It's like, it's a stuffy. It's like You've, a cloud. It is like a cloud. It's like the stuffy. It's like, mm, so good. Um, and then the pants, let's see. They also say Tory Belt Cosmetics down the side. So there we go. So these are going, those are new swag items that are going to be sold soon. And also what was really popular was the mugs. Okay, so we have like a jogger type mug, like an exercise mug. Or for cold stuff, right? Yeah, water bottle. With water bottle, top. water yeah. bottle, that kind of deal. You're right. And, oh, yes, it flips. And it's like the kind that you, like, suck the thing out of instead of, like, have to drink out of, which is always nice. There's a little belt loop guy. Anyway, these are cool because they are customizable, right? How cool is that? So you'll be able to say what you want on them. So this one obviously was made for Jacqueline. And then it also, you can put your title on it the, or anything else you want. You can put your team, all sorts of fun stuff on the back. How fun. Isn't that awesome? And then we also have the mug mug. And so we'll have both of these available and they're customizable. And so I just have, this is my mug and it just, it's the same on both sides, but it doesn't have to be the same. So we will, um, when we put them up online, you will have the different options and a, a place where you can type in what you want. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it typed in. Um, you might just have to put it in the notes, but we're gonna get that all situated here in the next week or so. But these, the goal for these is to have them in time for, well, it's not the goal. It's going to happen. You guys will be able to have these in time for Christmas if you order them as gifts. So, so exciting, right? Very, very, very excited about those. So we have the mugs and the sweat outfit and the nighty. So that's those are going to be our first swag items. And there will be many more to come. We're really excited to start doing some of our own swag. So it's going to be great. Okay. Checking out my notes. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So a little bit of, um, you know, housekeeping. So we have a little bit of shipping delays because we are changing over from one system to another. We are changing over from a system called ShipStation to a system called, what is it called? Snap, Snap Fulfill. Fulfill. Snap Fulfill. So Snap Fulfill, um, the system we have now, ship or had, uh, ship station didn't work with our Canadian shipping and it just wasn't, it wouldn't scale with us. And so we had to switch over. It's anytime you switch a system like that, there's a, there's a learning curve, but we're getting better and better. Um, so two days, three days ago, we shipped out like 300 Canadian orders and like 500 American orders, which is very slow for us. And then the next day we did like 500 Canadian orders and a thousand American orders. And today we did like 1500 Canadian orders and a couple thousand American orders. So it's only going to be like a couple days um, before we're totally caught up. So no big drama there, but we're a little bit behind two, three more days and we will be caught up. And thank you guys so much for your patience. Um, I know that, you know, we say, oh, it's going to be bumpy, but everybody's like, ah, it'll be fine. But then they're like, where's my stuff? Right. And so don't worry about it. We're almost there, but it's really going to be a great system. We're excited about it. Let's see. And Sunday and Matt and their whole teams, they really, really have gone like above and beyond. They've been amazing. Okay. Let's see. Oh, teen updates. Okay. So um, the teens, they, like I was telling you, so what they do is they have a call to action and we have um, special team Facebook, teen Facebook. We have a teen mentor. Her name's Megan Belt. She's awesome. And um, so she does lives and Zooms for the teens. So make sure to go to Tori Bell Teens on Facebook and get on that page, if you're a teen or if you have a teen on your team, which I always love saying, teen on your team. And then um, you can get all set up with that and they have awesome call to action. So they do like knowledge bombs and awesome business training and awesome social media training. And then they have their call to action and everybody who does the call to action and then comments that they did it, um, they're put in a drawing for something fun that they get to win. And our winners last week are Maddie Grimm and Brianne Sydney. Congratulations, you guys. You won a TB swag package that includes a water bottle, a heart necklace, a wristband, and a TB laptop sticker. So that will be out in the mail to you. And congratulations. Great job on doing your call to actions. And then we also have Hip and Happy with Kathy, and that is our personal development classes. 
So for those of you don't, that don't know, um, Kathy is my sister, Kathy Allen. However, we did not hire her because she's my sister. She actually is the most qualified person that I knew um, for this job. And it was funny because when I offered it to her, she actually turned me down and I was very angry. And I like mommed her to death until she came to work for us because it, she just really needed to. We need her. And so Kathy spent the last two decades working with people um, both in college settings, in charities, and for the state of Washington, helping people and developing programs to get people back to work and get people to work who have barriers to entry. And so people that have communication problems or they have, um, you know, abusive pasts or they have any kind of a problem that has made it so that as when they're working, there's something that's keeping them from succeeding. And so she has done that very successfully for 20 years. And that's why it was so important to me that we had her, because I don't know of anyone else who does that. It's a very unusual specialty to you know use psychology to help people specifically do better at work when they have an issue and to find what those issues are. And I think most of us, it's like, okay, fine, you can hear all sorts of motivational Speech, the speeches or whatever, but you don't really know how to identify what it is that you need to do. And so what she's so good at is helping you identify it and then picking the right path. And so we are super, super, super excited that she comes to work for us and she doesn't do it out of guilt. Honestly, she loves her job. Um, so she does her show on Wednesday at 4 p.m. and it is on the affiliate page. And you have to go back. Normally, I just say, what's the next one? You have to go back and watch yesterday's. It was hysterical. Two of our senior executive directors played Tori Bell feud with her. And it is so funny. People were like, so Cindy is one of them. And they were like, are you drunk? And she wasn't drunk, just so you know, she was just having fun. But I mean, they were just so funny. It's hysterical. So I hope you guys go watch that. And if you do, there's a call to action on that. And that call to action uh, winner will be awarded next week. So you can actually play along. And it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong, as long as you comment the answers that you think they are. Uh, during the call to action, um, you're actually in the drawing too for next week's winner. So go watch it. It's super funny. Plus you could win stuff. And let's see, they also had a winner last, last week. Her winner was um, about posting your vision board. So everybody's call to action was to post their vision board. And we picked randomly of everybody, but the one that, that got chosen actually is really cool. So we have a picture of our winner here and look at that vision board. Isn't that awesome? Her name is Cassandra Morris. I love her vision board because she has all this fun stuff. She's got like, you go back on that one, Eddie. She's got like, you got to like look closely at this because there's so many fun things. She's got her like awesome sign about how being determined and it's everything's possible and nothing's impossible. She's got her fun stuff. She's got her, um, her beach ball. And we had those when we went to Cancun on the incentive trip, she had pictures of her kids. That's her motivation. She's got all the things that, that motivate her. Um, that's an awesome vision board. And so Cassandra, we hope that every one of those dreams comes true. And we're really proud of you. And for everybody who posted your vision boards, they were awesome. And I love looking at them. Thank you. And good job. Um, okay. So we said personal development, 4 p.m. Wednesdays. Um, and she is doing a special live to welcome our new affiliates next week also. So definitely check that one out too. Okay. Now we get to do some fun stuff, you guys. Product launches. All right. I love doing product launches. Um, we have, so uh, first of all, I'll do the boring one first. It's not really boring, but it's not as cool as the other ones. Um, so we have been waiting to get our six magnet lashes back in stock. And the first ones have come in and they are nine to fives. So you can now go on the website and order your classic nine to fives. If you prefer the six magnets, the, here they are. The only noticeable difference is the box. Um, oops, I have it upside down. The box says classic. This is the only difference between the original nine to five, which is now the classic nine to five. So they are there. They are ready for you. Come and get them. And we will have, um, I think, three more styles coming in in the next couple of weeks and one a couple of weeks after that. Um, I know next is Ladies Night. And then what comes after Ladies Wonder Night? Wonderlash. Uh, then um, Wonderlash. And then, nope, then Date Night, I think. Date and night then Wonderlash. Yeah, so those are the ones that are on their way in. So those are there for you. So I, I know a lot of people are excited to get them because they like these. But I'm like, yeah, we had those before. I like the fun new stuff. Okay, so... In the world of fun new stuff, we have our classic, not our classic, I'm sorry, our, um, what order do I have this in? So I'm looking at my notes. Ah, I did it backwards. 
because poor Eddie, I'm messing him up. So, okay, so in the world of nine to fives and ladies nights, like we were just talking about, so we had the 10 one millimeter magnets and they just were not strong as we wanted them, as strong as we wanted them to be. And so after much technology and innovation, we have found a way to make them way stronger. They're like shockingly stronger, way better, um, I think they're the best lashes that we have ever had, and a couple of new styles have dropped in those. And um, just so you know, the um, all of our limited time lashes that we do once a month, like the pink mink that just came out, those are already our stronger technology. And the boardroom lashes that came out on the 1st of October were also the stronger technology. So now we have our nine to fives and our ladies nights in our new, much shockingly stronger technology. So those are available for you guys to get right now. So go grab those. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many we have. I mean, I think we have quite a bit coming in, but I would, if you want them, I would do it now. Just because we wanna make sure, you know, um, that you get them, holidays coming up and all that kind of stuff. So I do it now, get stocked up, cause you're gonna have a lot of holiday sales. Alrighty. Oh no, we have a fun announcement. So previously we had our Illusion Lash line and our classic lash line and our new 10 magnet lash line. We had three different lines. And so if you were to buy a bundle, you would buy, um, you know, this goes with this and this goes with this or this goes with this, but this doesn't go with this. No, that was a no. Now it's not a no, now it is a yes. So we were very excited. So how that works is, um, basically they're all the same price now. And so that makes it very easy for us to let you bundle whatever you want. And so effectively we lowered the price on our illusion lashes and our magnetic mascara to match the prices of our other lashes and our bundles. So, oops, I'm dropping Jacqueline's mug. Okay, so that means that now when you go online, you one, those are cheaper now. There's $35 for the illusion lashes and you get two pairs in a box or, um, $40 for magnetic mascara, which is twice as big as um, magnetic liner. But you know, it works differently because you put more on. So you really get about the same amount of use, but it's larger. Um, but the cool thing is now, if you want to, like a lot of people like to use magnetic mascara on their lashes and then use the original lashes or even the new lashes, the new 10 magnet lashes on their lashes, natural lashes. I know it's a lot of lash talk, but on their natural lashes instead of an illusion lash. And they're like, well, can we bundle those? And the answer used to be no, and now it's yes. I'm very excited about it. So you guys can bundle whatever you want. I will not go through all of the possible incantations of the bundles because there's probably, I don't even know how many, somebody do the math, but there's a lot. So we won't go through them, but look, you can do pretty much anything you want to do. You can do the illusion stuff with anything you want and with any liners that you want and any mascara you want, and you can do the opposite. You can do the regular lashes with those two and the mascara. So that is super duper duper fun. And then last but not least in the awesome, awesome announcements that I hope you guys love because we have made a little innovation. It's not like something, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's not like it's something we invented. Um, this is something that's been around forever, but we added a great innovation to our um, eyeshadow palettes. And so we are re-releasing Stark Naked as our first in our new eyeshadow palettes. Voila, this is our new Stark Naked palette. I know it looks about the same. However, on the inside, when you open this up, see how there's this little notch right here, right there, that little notch. The awesome thing about that little notch is that you can pull these guys out of here very easily. See how easily that came out like that? You can take them all out and this is a magnetic palette. And then you can put them back in any organizational pattern that you want to. Let's say you want this guy, this guy here, over here, and you want it to be that direction. No problem, you can do that. But let's say that you have another palette. This is the only one we have right now, but very soon we will have many more. Um, let's say you have another palette and you love this color. You don't like that one. You don't want it in your darn palette. Well then take it out. You don't have to put it in there. So you can, Fill this up in any way you want with all of our different palette colors as we go. And they are fun because they have the, basically the cover is a little collectible palette and whatever one you like, it's great. Throw it in your purse and put whatever in it you like. So this is how we're gonna do all of our palettes going forward so that we can give you guys the opportunity to put together whatever it is you love to use together. 
And I hope you guys are into that because I am so into it. And I'm just going to put this back in some super random way. And Lauren's going to be like, oh, kill me now. It's not in the right order. <laughs> but it's all right. The only drawback of that is now your chart on the back isn't going to match. But I don't think anybody cares. You know what you like, right? So anyway, this is the, the cosmetics on the inside are identical. Um, so we made in this in this particular palette, we made um, the Ivory Glow and the, what color is that? Is it Nubian? Nubian. Is that right? Yeah, Ivory Glow and Nubian. We made those two larger because they're really commonly used as a highlighter on your cheeks and a bronzer, which I did today, by the way. So all the almost everything I have on my face right now is it comes out of this palette. And then a lot of people also use these two for lip and cheek. And, and that one too, actually. And, and this guy here, porcelain, great blender and also great for your under eyes and in your corners. I mean, you can just do so much with this palette that it is crazy. It's basically an entire face. Uh, and now you can move it around however you want. And that's how they will all be. So we're really excited about that. That is online now. I hope you love it. I love it. I know I've had a ton of people saying, when will Stark Naked be back? Um, this is by far our most popular palette just because it is just so usable and you can do so much with it. So those are all of our fun launches for the day. And I am going to take some questions that Veronica gave me. But before, while she's thinking of questions or not thinking of them, but finding them, I have to tell you guys something really cool. So we have all been obsessed with this app today at work and it is called um, Family Search Tree. And um, it's actually, I think it's owned by the LDS Church. And it is the coolest app ever. I love it so much. So it's an, an it's an ancestry app. And you go in there and you put in whoever it is that you, that, you know, is somebody in your family that you can identify, maybe your grandfather, or great grandfather, your dad, whatever. And you put it in and you see if that person um, is already in the system. And then it'll say, is this the person you know? And if it is, you click yes. And then it'll show you those people, that person's relatives and attach it to you and how they attach to you. And you just keep doing that until you have this enormous family tree and you can just keep following it back. I followed mine back to um, 0895, which is crazy, it's a thousand years ago. And Kirk, our um, VP of product and supply chain, his was BC and so was Jenny's in supply chain. It was crazy. And coolest thing about this is here, I'm gonna show you on my phone. Here's my phone. So I'm, I'm like a walking ad for this thing because it's so exciting. I swear to God, they didn't pay me. Um, and it's free, by the way, which is super cool. I love free. Okay, wait, wait, go to the thing. All right, so it's this little, that little family tree one right there. So you click it. So if you're on, this is the cool page right here. So you see where it says relatives around me? So what you do is if you're in a room with a bunch of people, you can say, you know, and you know any of them have this app or you can just tell them to get it. Then what you do is you click relatives around me and it, and then it says search and it starts searching the people around you. Now they, they have to be actively searching at the same time as you. So you have to tell everybody, hey, download this and put it on. But if there was somebody in this room or within a hundred feet of me that I was related to, it would show me. So what we've been doing is we're like going around the office and being like, hit the button. So it turns out I am cousins with like four people that work here. Um, Matt Cooley is my, I, don't, I think he was my eighth cousin. Mm -hmm. um, Jason Brooks was what, with 12th, 12th cousin. Um, Kirk, I think was Kirk, 10. Kirk, yeah, our VP, but he was 10th cousin. Um, and Jenny was like my eighth cousin, maybe 10th. It's crazy. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. Cause you know, you're getting back to like the 1500s. A lot of people have someone in common, but it is the neatest thing. So I just had to tell you, I'm like so into this app. You have no idea. So I'm just, had to share. I was like, oh my gosh. Also, I found out that my um, bazillionth great cousin, uncle, grandfather, somebody who's related to me was the king of France and his name was William Longsword. And I feel very good about that. That explains that. you come from royalty. I do. I, I, I officially come from royalty. I'm feeling so, super good about it. I'm just saying. Anyway, so that's super fun. That was just a silly fun thing that we were doing today and it was just awesome. We did it like all lunch break and maybe a little snuck in when it wasn't. Okay, questions. Okay, so a few people had asked about uh, when will we have email and text notifications back, and Jason went over this in depth in his live this week. Oh, perfect. So reminder that if you have questions regarding that, go back and watch his live from this week for all the answers. Okay, so I will say that really quickly just in case you guys didn't hear it very well. So um, email and text notifications are coming back. 
Um, and Jason did a live about it and went super in depth about it. So it's on the affiliate page. Scroll down to Killing It with Jason and Stormy. All the answers are right there. He went like 10 minutes into it, so I won't do 10 minutes on it, but go check that out because it's there and they are coming back. Okay, next question. When will the swag start being available for sale? People are super excited. And what sizes will we be offering? Is there... Gotcha. So um, the swag should be will be available in November, so you guys can order it for Christmas presents if you want to. And um, extra small to extra large, and we will have a, at least one style or so in like double, triple X. Perfect. What lippy are you wearing? Oh, I am wearing seashell with Ignite over the top. Perfect. And on my eyes, I have a stark naked palette. And on my cheeks, I have stark naked palette. And on my eyebrows, I have stark naked palette. So speaking of Stark Naked, will you be putting any more shadow tutorials up for people that yes. are struggling with how to apply shadow? Shadow tutorials. Okay, first we have some really cool science-y shadow tutorials in the back office, and I'm going to do another level on that where um, I go through the palettes and I take those cool shapes with the different eye shapes, and I'm going to make some charts to show you out of each palette the different looks you could do for each eye shape. It's not going to be tomorrow because that's it's a big project. But over the course of the next couple of weeks, I'm going to do some really fun charts for you guys on different on different looks from different palettes that fit your face personally. We have a video. We have a video. Oh, we have a oh, my gosh, you guys. So for those of you who have never seen the Stark Naked original video before, um, Bob and I, it's, it's the story of um, a meeting between us. And this is like the second chapter. So Eddie did an amazing, amazing job. Let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love that so much. <laughs> I love that video. I think it's so fun and funny. And in case you couldn't tell, uh, Bob and I are obviously a couple, if you didn't already know that. And um, he is, by the way, the best man in the entire world. And um, we had so much fun making it. And I hope you guys love it. It's just, it's fun and tongue in cheek, but um, it really, really is a, just an amazing, amazing product. And I heard during the, um, the video that there were some questions about when will we have more modular products and they will, we will have some more coming out before Christmas so that you guys, um, can have some great holiday modular products also. So that'll be fun. Oh, oh, good one. Let's see it. Let's hear it. No, they were asking about, uh, different skin tones and different lippy colors would is there some kind of chart telling people what would be good we, for their skin tone? yeah so we actually just photographed um more skin tones to add to the website so you will be able to and i'm not sure what day those are going live they might be already honestly i think stark naked stark, is stark. stark naked does have it on there and i'm not sure about the lippies but we photographed them and they're being retouched right now because we just did it last week um, so that you'll have pictures of um, different ethnicities in the lips and different ethnicities arms for the eyeshadow. So that will help you choose. Everybody loves the video. Oh, I'm glad yeah. you guys love the video. I love it. That was so fun. I love the kiss at the end because we just really love each other. And it was like, oh, that's our real kiss. So that was nice. Anyway, okay. So one more. She looks like she's got one. Oh, just with the relaunch of some of the classic, will any of the illusion lashes come back in six magnets? Um, we don't have them planned yet, but that doesn't mean they won't. But they will definitely come in the newer, stronger magnets for sure. So that is fun. Yeah, which are technically stronger than the six magnets, just so you know. Okay, guys, I think we're done. 
It was so, so good to see you this week and welcome everybody that's new and um, all of you guys that aren't new, please welcome all of our new people. Reach out to them, say hello, and thank you so much for being here and I will talk to you next Thursday. Bye.